Oh yeah. Right, here we are again, out and about. It's been a week or so since we've been out in peaks, or even out. I did worse when I think what were inside, apart from the other two that I'll be down in Cornwall. But that was just personal. I thought I'd share it with you all. Today's walk, we're gonna find and try and find three shires. A bit more than that as we get along. People will know it, will know it. It's where three shires, three counties meet to a little pool. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, try to map a route and try to find a car park. So I'm gonna try and find his way there from where I am. So I hope you enjoy me getting lost and I'll uh, catch you in a while. Well here we are again, sweating, it's a warm day, uh, still on the hunt for the three shires, uh, come up that steep little path that you've just been watching and now we're going to head over and have a little bridge over top of a little waterfall from the last one from a minute ago and then uh, follow that I believe to a road I uh, can't remember the road number or name but it's warm, mugger and warm and I'm sweating and that's not good not good when I'm sweating so we'll carry on we'll carry on and we're still climbing why do we do it? see you in a short while Why do I always pick walked? It's got a mile and a half, two mile of climbing first. Need to get my legs sorted first. Right, we're still going up. A mile and a half in. And uh, at some point we're going to turn right and head down towards the road. Cross over and then head down towards Free Shires. By then, I'll have filled you in some details about Free Shires. Shires. Hopefully, there's not going to be a lot of people there because usually when it's warm, it's like I do. Hopefully, not today. I hope it's nice and calming and then we can have a little sit. So, I'll see you a little bit further on. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I'm not. <laughs> I'm sorry, slip of the tongue. See you in a while. Don't 
tell you something, the ceiling's cracking up here. When I last saw you, we've just come a little bit further up and there's a sign that says, turn right for three shires, which is what we've done. It's brought us along this footpath and this will take us down to that road that I was talking to you about earlier. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take five minutes and let you look at scenery, because I think it's cracking. So, we'll go, so I carry on walking and my next, my next clip will be this cracking scenery. There, finally meets the road. As you can see, I'm showing a bit of the arm today. Yeah, that's what I'm getting, what my dad called driver's arm. I hope builder's called builder's arm. Off, burnt and half now. So I'm gonna try and get a bit of sun on. Not one for taking his shirt off. Right, uh, right onwards. Cross over the road, as you can see. There's a little uh, dial. And we'll go down into the valley. And we all know what happens, what means when we go down into the valley, it means we've got to come up in, back up onto the top. So, and then we're in down to three shires. So, let's crack on. Time's a wasting. Sun's a popping out. Right, just going through Black Clough Farm and we're on our last little journey down to Three Shires. I'm taking this and that, if you can see it. I've got you there and that is what we're following to get down to Three Shires. So, I'll see you down there. It's a, it's a challenging walk, come on, sir. See you further down. Every moment tonight, they lend me to you. Every single time you look at me, I lose it too. Why don't you come sit next to me? Let things happen naturally, like it used to be. about it. 
Right guys, here we are, three shires, the three shires meet on the swan's base. It's not like a Lido, there's just one family here at the minute, so I'm trying my best not to get any kids on. Uh, as you can see, three waterfalls meet, three rivers meet, and each come from three different shires. I'll put what they are in the description because I cannot remember for life from that. I can't get Google up to search it, to be honest. There's no signal. So, yeah, we're here. We'll take five minutes, have a little chill, and then we're going to head back to the car. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget, if you are and you're liking what I'm putting, don't forget, click that subscribe button and like. Cheers, and I'll see you shortly. Just hope that we're still okay. You always pick me up and let me down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. Damned if we do, damned if we don't. Damned if we give in what we want. And I always pick you up and let you down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. Damned if we do. Right, did you see that? Let me find out what that is. Just looked at the map and it says Wild Boar Clough. If that's right, I am going to come back and I'm going to do that because I can see a trig point shining on top of that. And uh, that's on my to do list. So watch out for that one. Find a route for that, Wild Boar Clough. So while we're here, we're going to be about half a mile from Car Park. Uh, a few more bits of scenery and stuff, got a niche of those, I hope you don't mind. There's lots of little midges around. So we're going to head back down through to the car park. And uh, I hope you're enjoying it, because I certainly am. It's been a good day, it sun's out and what do you expect? Uh, I don't know what that is over in distance. You can see it. Over there. Make some sort of antenna eye or something I'll search for that one I'll let you know in comments but when I get further down get to the car before I break my neck so I'll catch you in a while Here we are at uh, Crag Hole. Another close to the car. At Crag Hole. Let's get it further up. See what else we've got.
Got some sort of accommodations are coming up. Very impressive though. Right, here we go. Quite cool cottages. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Let's carry on. Well there we are, walk down, Clough House uh, car park and we're back, nice little steady six mile walk, uh, back to the car and home and edit. <laughs> 